All right, back here at Iams. We're gonna check our three spots again today. Is that a wallet? With old Lukey. And yeah, we found a Hello Kitty wallet. Letters. <laughs> Lucas, I think A it's... is for apple. <laughs> it's time to learn. B Scre is for barn. Screw herping, we're learning the alphabet. C is for cow. This is the area we got all those rat snakes and the several northern water snakes that we saw. And we're gonna see if they're back out again today. But you never know with that storm last night. Alright, we almost walked past this guy here. That is a really good looking northern water snake right there. Now he does see us, so our chances of catching him are pretty slim. Yeah, he's he's going. I might try to get him if his head goes down a rock or something. Guess we can give it a go. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh well. We tried. Well, other than that one water snake that we saw down here, we didn't see much. Uh, so we're gonna move up onto either the lotus pond or the wall. All right, next up, we are at the wall side and the tracks all the way down there. Wish us luck. Lucas spotted the very first box turtle of 2020. Oh my God, it's such a pretty one. All right. Let me get some NC2s in real quick. Okay. All right, guys. So right here is the Eastern box turtle. And this is just one of my favorite turtle species we have here, like ever. And this is most definitely a female. And you can't see at the moment, but the females have really dark brown eyes while males will have like glowing red eyes. And as you can see, she has a very flat plaster on, which is one of the ways you can tell. But this is, by far the most colorful one I've seen. A lot of them are very, very dark shelled, but she's absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's a garter snake in this pile of straw-like stuff. Yeah, I don't know what you call it, but he's right there on the edge. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Enough. All right, Lucas spotted a black racer chilling on the bank over there. He's periscoping. He's he's ready to go. So I'm gonna get over here on this side and I'll leave you all just a second because these guys are fast. We will have to move quick. Hey, 
we got a snake. Oh, I got the camera. Yep. All right, so after my two failures of catching snakes, Lu Lu yeah, Lucas lured this beautiful black racer. And this is a different one. Yeah, it looks like it because we really saw the one like miles, Way. yeah, miles down the road. So this guy is beautiful. Okay, let's... beautiful snake. He did tag Lucas, but he seems already calm. Yeah, a lot more calm than the one I caught before. So here's this is a big one. Good looking snake. Absolutely. And look at the bite. It's nowhere near as bad as it could have Yeah, he barely tagged him. Good yeah. deal. Alright, this guy might be good for some photos too. Yeah. Good catch. Alright, so I didn't get much footage of the last racer that we found in the video, but this makes up for it. Day and night. Look at that snake. Super defensive. Yeah. Periscoping. Coming towards you. <laughs> we got some good, good pictures of this guy. He bit me a few times. Yep. See that there? This very, is they're very defensive snakes. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Sorry. There he goes. I wasn't about to get bit. And you can see nice. how fast they are. That snake is just flying. Nice oh, finds, man. Yeah, we got a little bit of a battle wound. I got two. But hey, that was worth it. Good fun. I am little. I am fierce. I am skink. A pretty good day at Iams, and the last snake we caught was an adult black racer. And many hours later, we, at my house, yeah, we came to flip his boards before I head home, and we flipped the baby black racer. Just, dude, what are the odds? Incredible. Now, I've never <laughs> seen a racer this size before, so. <laughs> Great way to end the day. I'm speechless. Yep. So I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy because I have yet to photograph a baby racer. <coughs> and bless you. I do not have corona. <laughs> Alright, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.